Hey y'all, welcome back to your girl Simply Maggie channel. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and like, share this video, okay? Tell a friend and tell a friend. Whoever is ready to start some locks, watch this video because I'm going to give you guys some great and amazing tips, okay? So as you can see, based on the title is the video, if you see me looking down, I do have a notebook. I wrote down five things that you need to know before starting your locks, okay? And before I started my locks, I done my research too. So I was on the book, YouTube, everywhere, Pinterest, everywhere, trying to figure out how I want my hair, how I want my locks to look, how I want it to be, and what I need to do, and you know, how to start off and all that good stuff. You know, that was like four years ago. Look at me now. So I'm gonna tell you guys five things you need to know before starting your locks. This is a serious matter for me because for locks, these are, your hair defines you pretty much, they say. Your hair defines you. Your hair is the first thing people see. Your hair is the first thing you see and do when you wake up in the morning. You, you know, it's for ladies, of course, yeah. But for locks, dreadlocks is a journey, it's a process. It's a connection, it's a meditation, it's a spiritual way of healing. I'm gonna get deep inside, okay? We gonna, we gonna touch it to that. Okay, so number one, the first thing um, I can let y'all know before starting locks is make sure you are ready. I can't stress that enough. Like for females that be DM me and hitting me up, oh, they want, they hear locks. They want me to start a locks. But are you ready to let go of that lace wig? Are you ready to let go of them plaits and all that stuff? Because once you go lock, it's like, what is the purpose of you trying to add extensions and trying to put on some wigs and stuff like that? I mean, I don't knock nobody who do it. Don't get me wrong. I've done it before. I wore a wig before one time and never again. Okay? And that was that. But... You have to make sure you're ready because starting your locks it means so much to a lot of people like if you have some lock friends ask them why did you start your locks what is the meaning behind starting your locks a lot of people have meanings a lot of people don't some people do it because of the style or whatever some people do it because they want to do it they want a different lifestyle they want a different way of living or whatever but having locks comes with a lot of stuff and a lot of stress y'all y'all don't understand but yeah so you have to make sure you're ready okay it is a process it is a journey there are several stages when starting locks i'm currently still in a stage right now right so i'm four years in and i'm still in the four year mark stage okay like come on there's people who've been locked for years so this is nothing where I'm at right now and where you guys are trying to get to. You guys can make it. If I can do it, you can do it, okay? So this is a process. It is a journey. You guys going to have to deal with judgmental people. Like people are going to talk about your hair no matter what. They talk about it now with y'all lace and everything else. So it, it's no difference with locks, okay? Don't treat it as no difference, me, but it is a difference in this world with job-wise, okay? So think about that. Work life and dreadlocks, two different things you do need to think about that, okay? You got to make sure you're ready for that lifestyle, all right? And that is number one. The second thing you need to know is that when starting locks, you have to make sure that you're ready, okay? So that means no more wigs, no more um, weave, no more chemicals in your hair, fellas, no more, none of that. You guys have to go all natural, natural stage as in to wash your hair and let it revert back to its natural stage that it get curly, let it do what it gotta do, okay? Like minimize any products, minimize a lot of that stuff, okay? That is the second thing you need to know that you have to stay in natural state. It, that is the healthiest way to start a locks, okay? That is the healthiest way for me, all right? The third thing you need to know is maintaining. So when it comes to starter locks, it's not that much that you have to do. People say that when you get lost, oh, oh, you have to maintain it more often. You really don't have to maintain it more often. It's just like natural hair. Like you, you maintain your natural hair as much as you maintain your locks, right? 
So maintaining, you just have to make sure your hair is moisturized. I cannot stress that enough. You do not want dry roots. You do not want itchy scalp. You do not want dry hair at all. You have to moisturize your hair because if you don't moisturize your hair, you're going to experience a whole lot of damages, a whole lot of breakage, and a whole lot of everything. Okay. That part, washing your hair for starter locks. For starter locks, you don't have to wash your hair as often, okay? Accept that fact. Let it be dirty. Let it do what it got to do. Because at the end of the day, you're going to wash it, okay? So, for me, I would say one or two times a month that you can wash your hair. I won't say for dry heads to wash your hair three times, four times a month. Because it doesn't make any sense. For what? You're stripping all your oils. You're, you're making your hair dry by doing that. You shouldn't even want to do that. To be honest, sometimes I don't even wash my hair for a whole month. Because my hair feels so healthy and so clean and just like, woof. Okay, so by the time I wash my hair, it's not that much dirt coming out because I don't put as much products in my hair for me to be washing my hair all the time. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Oh. And retwisting and restyling. Oh, you guys, restyle and retwist so often, it doesn't make any sense. Let's retwist, let's restyle 2020. Can we do that? Because you guys, you guys are going to break your hair. You guys are going to thin out your locks your edges you guys have to be careful with these type of things man stop manipulating your hair by retwisting your hair so often and the person who's doing your hair be so damn tight and y'all be saying nothing about it and don't come to me about no shit about no don't snatch at my edges because i know what i'm doing i'm not gonna do all that stuff though people do that and that's crazy that's crazy how people do that but people do that so that's step three is not step three, but the third thing that you need to know. <laughs> Why do you think it's a step thing? But that is the third thing you need to know is maintaining. So the first one is make sure you are ready. The second one is make sure you have to revert back to natural state. Make sure that your hair is all natural and it's healthy, okay? Um, before you start your starter log. That is my opinion, okay? And the third thing you need to know is maintaining your locks. Like you do not have to do so much, just the bare minimum. Make sure your hair is moisturized. Make sure you wash your hair at least once or twice a month. And make sure you don't retwist or restyle your hair as often, okay? If you want to save your hair and keep your hair as healthy, that's what I do. Like, literally, these are the things that I do and these are the things that I tell my clients. If you haven't noticed, I am a hairstylist. Go ahead and follow me on IG on hair by mags with a Z underscore. So, the fourth thing you need to know um, are the sizes. Oh, my God. I can't, I can't stress you guys enough. Um, it was hard for me to choose a size. I really wanted to do sister locks, but then I said, oh heck no, no. I don't want to deal with that because I was scared to lose any locks. I was scared to pop anything. So I was like, let me choose a, um, a reasonable size, which is a medium small, but it's not that small, but it's medium size. It's a perfect size for me. I love the size I chose. I've started my locks. Um, I've done the box, so I've done box. I parted down my hair down four ways, I believe, and then I did boxes. So, but um, there's plenty of shapes you can choose from. You have box, you have triangles, you have diamonds, you have rectangles, you have all type of shapes you can choose from. Just make sure that the size that you're choosing is a size that you know that you're gonna be responsible for, okay? Because just make sure, okay? And be mindful that the ground root of where your starter locks is at, that size, that size shape um, that is created is going to be the size of your locks. Remember that. That is going to be the size of your locks. So be mindful of the size that you choose, okay? Be mindful of that, all right? All right? All right? Thing. The fifth thing i can't stress this enough the fifth thing you should know before starting your locks drum roll please <laughs> make sure you're ready to embrace this journey i can't stress that enough embrace it okay you guys embrace the lock journey 
the ugly stage, the beginning stage, the last stage, all that stage. Do not be afraid of that stage. I don't think I was ever afraid of it. I was skeptical, but I dealt with it. But I ain't complain about it because it's my hair. And look at me now. Okay? But embrace it, y'all. Embrace the lock journey. Okay? I like I root for everybody who would love to start their start locks. Go ahead and do it. If you're thinking about it, do it now. Like literally like now. Like now. For real, like today. Ahora. Okay. Today. So if you're thinking about starting your locks, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. This is a journey, man. Like I learned so much with my locks. I met so much people with my locks. Um, I learned how to be more open with my locks. I learned to embrace so much stuff with my locks. So if you're ready to start your locks, go ahead and do it, okay? Maggie said do it. Maggie said do it, okay? Well, that is all for this video. That is five things you should know. I'm going to go ahead and say that again, all right? Five things you should know before starting your locks is, one, make sure you are ready. Two, make sure you revert back to your natural state, okay? Make sure you do that. Remove all the chemicals and all that extra stuff. Minimize your products. Three, your maintenance. Maintaining your locks, your starter locks. Make sure you moisturize them every day. Get a spray bottle, water, whatever, and just moisturize your locks every day, okay? Wash your hair at least once or twice a month. No more than that. No need for it. No need for it unless you're just dumping a whole lot of products in your hair, okay? Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> and um, the fourth one it's the sizes make sure you know what sizes you want to choose make sure you know who you want to do it with if you can do it yourself kudos go ahead and do it save you some coins honey okay and the fifth one is embrace the journey okay embrace it love it deal with it okay it's patient it's time consuming it's a journey it's a process this is not just a lace wig you can just take off and put back on okay so those are my five things that you need to know about starter locks, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment down below. Share, 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 share. And tell a friend that Maggie is on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.